LSAT 75, Game 1. We have a Human Resources Department determine annual bonuses for seven employees. We have KL, M, and P in the Finance Department, and V, X, and Z in the Graphics Department. And they're all going to receive either a $1,000, a $3,000, or $5,000 bonus according to the following. No one in Graphics gets a $1,000 bonus. So I've crossed off Graphics and 1000 Any employee who is rated highly effective receives a larger bonus than anyone in his or her department who is not rated highly effective. Okay, I don't know how to draw that one, so I'm not going to. The point is to remember it, that the highly effective employees get a larger bonus than anyone in the same department that was not rated highly effective. And then we're told that only L, M, and X were rated highly effective, so I've underlined those. So we know that L, M, and X get higher bonuses than the other people in their department. So with that in mind, we know, for example, that L and M, I'm going to just move them over here and say L and M are going to be higher than P. We don't know exactly the order here. We know that X is going to be higher than V and Z. Okay. And so with that in mind, let's look at this acceptable situation question. Let's look for anything that has um, some one of the G's, V, Z, or X, getting a $1,000 bonus. Uh, here we have Z getting a $1,000 bonus. Here we have V getting a $1,000 bonus. Those are not allowed. Okay, let's see if we can find a case where X is not higher than both V and Z. So here's X getting the same as V and Z. So that's out. X5, V, and Z3. X5, okay, those are good. Let's look at L and M and make sure they're higher than K and P. L5, M5, P3, K1, good. L5, M3, K3. Okay, this has K and M both getting a $3,000 bonus. So B is the only one that satisfies all of our conditions. Now let's think. The graphics department has three members. There's two possible bonuses, and X has to get more than the others. So there's not much to say here. We have to have V and Z getting 3,000 and X getting 5,000. Now in the finance department, there's more possibilities. L and M have to get more than the others. So we could have L and M getting 3,000, or 1, 3, and 1, 5, or both of them 5,000. But those are the only possibilities for L and M. And I think I will split this up into three different worlds based on where L and M are. This is not necessary. It's never strictly necessary to split into worlds, but it's often useful. So I've got the world where I've got L and M both in 5,000, the one where one of them's in 3,000 and one of them's in 5,000, in which case I have to have K and P here. And there's the world where both L and M are in 3,000. And again, K and P are getting 1,000. So these, these are the three cases we'll work with. Number two asks, if L and M do not get the same bonus, which of the following could be true? So this world here is the case that we have where L and M do not get the same. We have one of them getting three and one of them getting five. Can K be 3? No. K gets 1,000. Can L get 3? Yes. Right there. How about P? No, P can't get 3. K and V the same? No, K gets 1. V gets 3. P more than K? Nope, not possible. They're both getting 1,000. Number 3 asks, if only one of the employees receives a $1,000 bonus, what of the following must be true? So that could happen here in this world. But the other two worlds have both K and P getting $1,000 bonuses. So we're in this world. If we have one here and one here, we don't care which ones. We're interested in what must be true. And M has to get a $5,000 bonus here. So that's correct. P, 3000 It could be. It doesn't have to be. M3000, that can't even be true. P getting 1000 could be true. It doesn't have to be. 
k getting 1,000. Doesn't have to be true. So a is the only correct answer. Number four asks which of following must be true. A says at least one gets a thousand dollar bonus. Let's see if we can find the case where that doesn't happen. If I have K and P getting three thousand dollar bonuses here, there's nothing nothing left for the one thousand, and so no one gets a one thousand dollar bonus. At least three get three thousand dollar bonuses. So if I move that K and P over to the $1,000 column, then I would only have V and Z getting $3,000 bonuses. Okay? C says at most three get $3,000 bonuses. But we saw a case where we had four getting $3,000 bonuses, so that doesn't have to be true. At least two get $5,000 bonuses. Now, in this case, when L and M both get $3,000 bonuses, X is the only one to get a $5,000 bonus, right? Everything's on the board here. So we don't have to have at least two getting 5,000. At most three get 5,000. This one is true. If you look in every world, you find here we have three getting 5,000. Here we have two, because it's L or M getting 5,000. And here you get one getting 5,000. So there's never a case where you get four to get $5,000 bonuses. Number five says, if exactly two employees receive $5,000 bonuses, which of the following must be true? So this world is the only one that has exactly two employees getting $5,000, but we don't know exactly which they are because L and M can switch between three and five. Okay, so what has to be true? Well, nothing about L and M here because L and M could be three or five, but we don't know where they have to be. P, one. There we are. P has to get the $1,000 bonus. So D is the only correct answer. Number six says any of the following could be true, except A, the same number received 1,000 and 3,000. Well, if we take this as our example and say, well, we've got two getting 3,000, and K and P are still available, so I could have the same number getting 1,000 as get 3,000. So A is possible. B says more receive 1,000 than 3,000. In this world, we'd have to have three get 1,000, and there's not a third one available. K and P are the only things that are left. Here, we've got two here, and we've got three getting 3,000. Here, we've got two here, and we've got four that are getting 3,000. So this one can't be true. That's what we're looking for. C says the same number receive 1,000 as... 5,000. Okay, well, look at this one. We've got two getting 1,000, K and P, and two getting 5,000, X and one of L or M. So that's possible. More get 1,000 than 5,000. Well, that's possible. Look down here. We have two getting 1,000. We've got one getting 5,000. So that could be true. E says more receive 3,000 than 5,000. Again, let's look at this world. We have four getting 3,000, one getting 5,000, so that one could be true also. B is correct.